Currently, artificial intelligence is altering the way we operate. You have undoubtedly already given ChatGPT a shot, but you can also use Google Brad AI and other comparable AI chatbot in your daily life and at the office. In this video, we will be talking about Google Brad AI. Brad is a large language model, or LLM for short, that was developed by Google AI. It is one of the most powerful LLMs in the world, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers. If you're ready, then let's get started. Welcome back. My name is Pamela from Beth Media, and today we will be talking about Google Brad AI. Do not forget to like and subscribe to see more of our videos. First, what is Brad AI? Brad is a conversational AI tool that can be used for a variety of tasks, including generating text like poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, emails, and letters. Two, translating languages. Three, answering your question in an informative way. Four, helping you to brainstorm ideas and solve problems. Brad AI can help you to become more effective, think more quickly, and complete tasks more quickly in general. You can seek guidance for Brad AI on topics such as how to accomplish your goal, or reading more books this year, or how to make quantum physics concepts easier to understand, how to write or debug codes, or how to pick your creativity by preparing a blog post. How does Brad AI work, you might ask? Brad is trained on a massive data set of text and code. These data sets include books, articles, code repository, and other forms of text. When you give Brad a tax, it uses its knowledge of this data set to generate a response. So what can Brad do? Brad can do a lot of things, but here are a few examples. Brad can help you write a blog post or generate a script for a video. It can help you learn a new language or translate a document. It can give you answers to your questions and it can help you brainstorm ideas and solve problems. How do you use Brad AI? It is currently available in the beta form and anyone can sign up for a free account. Go to brad.google.com and sign up using your Google account and start navigating the Brad AI interface. Number two, setting up your first chat with Brad AI at the bottom of the screen. Click on enter a prompt here and type your question to start your first conversation with Google Brad AI. Brad would offer suggestions to help you figure out what to ask. If you don't type a question, you can click on the microphone button and ask your question and Brad will listen and type what you speak. Or you can click on the pencil picture at the top right corner to edit and change your question. Once you've changed it, Brad will give you a new answer based on what you edit. Or you can click the plus button on the left part of the prompt box to upload the photo and ask your queries about the pictures that you uploaded. Google Brad AI also comes with three drafts or formats so you can select which one aligns with your results. You can also share and export your results with the latest updates on Google Brad. You can now publicly share a link to the prompt and response and even the entire chat to a third party service Click on the share button and choose whether to share a specific prompt or an response or the entire chat. So now, what are the differences between ChatGPT and Google Brad AI? Both chatbox makes use of natural language processing, which enables users to enter commands or questions. The chatbot then responds with dialogue that is reminiscent of human conversation. The two still differ from one another, though, but with learning model. Google's newest method of comprehending clues is used by Pratt AI, while in the case of commercial edition, ChatGPT uses either ChatGPT3 or GPT4, the generative pre-training transformer. The most notable distinction between ChatGPT and Brand AI is how recently the information was obtained. Brand now has access to the most recent information from the internet as opposed to ChatGPT. Brad provides information in bits and pieces while ChatGPT presents all of the content at once. While ChatGPT requires copying and pasting the articles in order to summarize it, Brad can also summarize online pages. Brad focuses on creative writing 
and providing logical context in varieties of genres. Last word on Google Brand. Given that Google Brand AI is one of the top ChatGPT alternatives out there, it demonstrates a significant advancement in AI. It can help with coding in different programming language, offers individual vacation planning, and creates web content. The restrictions of brand and AI or other chatbots like ChatGPT, Write Sonic, Chat by Copy AI must still be kept in mind. We must attempt to not completely rely on them but rather utilize them as a guide. It is exciting to anticipate what technological advancement brand would offer, given its capacity to expand and change in the future. There you have it for this video. Will you be trying brand AI or would you still be using ChatGPT? Let me know in the comment section. And bye for now.